Well, uh, I guess speaking of Make the Cut, I do have a quick, short little tutorial for you and, and for, your, for all you Make the Cut users. And as the newsletter said, it was about the grayscale. So this, this is what we're talking about. This is in the most recent, you know, 4.6.1. You can see how long ago it was. You, you guys had this feature since March of last year. And I'm just going to show you how to do it real quick. Uh, Andy demonstrated this in one of his webinars when he was explaining what things were. So I'm just going to do it real quick with you guys. So uh, in Make the Cut, some things that you may want to prep for this and he mentioned it in his video is you, you want your contra you want your mat to be contrast it's just so you can see the um, see these images being traced a little better and the the fill options you want to stick with fill only not outline not fill plus outline but fill that way you can see what's going on all right so the, the first thing that you have to do is you have to find an image uh, I've already downloaded an image and then you need a pixel trace it okay so the pixel trace button right here uh, we'll, we'll click on click on that and I chose a horse so we're going to use the horse and this, this is the luminance what we need is the grayscale and that's found under the color scans and he he put this little checkbox down here for grayscale and and in the video he, he speaks a lot of a lot of programming language, but basically it takes all these millions of pixels and it converts it down into basically 256 colors, which will give you a better trace, he says. And you always want to start your count uh, low. So you, you start low. So we're going to show you what, what one does. And he also recommends stack scans whenever you're, whenever you're doing it. Uh, I want to back out of here just for a second so you can see this on the mat. Let me change my cursor here. We'll go back to where it was. All right, so got the horse, opening it up, going back to color scans, stacks, grayscale, and we'll use one, and we'll hit apply. Okay, so that just gave us a background. So let's let's up it for one more color. We'll hit apply. Okay, so now now you can start seeing the the details of the horse. And if we up it to three, we'll hit apply and see what that gets us. And I think I'm going to stick with that for now. Now, if you notice, it has lots of little, uh, I guess you would say, specs. You see all these specs, and you, and you want to clean that up with the the speckle, I guess, the despec feature. And you you can just move the slider up and down until you get it tweaked the way you want, and then you hit apply. You'll notice that all these little those little spots will now go away. Okay. So now with the stack scan set, grayscale set. We can hit the import button, and we'll see what we see what we get. We hit finish tracing, and basically he said the background you can toss out, and this is what you can cut. And what makes it nice with the stack scan is you can just lay it on top of uh, the other image, and uh, and it works out nice. So if I select both of these and hit the S button for stack, they they go back together. So this is just a, a another way for you guys to create, you know more cuts so just keep in mind that, uh, that the more colors you scan the more stuff that you'll eventually have to cut out he did say that when you use the uh, the scan cut and you stack them that you'll always get basically because you throw away that background it's scanned three times on this but we only have two files to cut okay so that's um, that's how you guys can interpret and in, interpret the stack scan with the grayscale, so hopefully you guys can use that use that tip in in design. And was, I just thought it was a cool little feature, to make the cut that made me like that little hidden gem. You know, I can I can see someone cutting this out of vinyl or what have you. All right, um, I'll see if there's.